Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about items that will disappear first during a crisis or a disaster. Some of these items are going to be universal, meaning that they're sure to disappear anytime people get a little freaked out over something, but others are going to be more specific to particular events, things like hurricanes. But understanding what's going to disappear first is going to do a couple of things for you. First, it's going to allow you to know the things that you should stockpile so that you have what you need. But it's also going to allow you to know the items that are going to be in demand and after things sell out, so that way you can build an inventory of things that you can trade later on if needed. Some of the first things to disappear will be anything that has to do with food. Anything shelf stable, including canned meats, fruits, and vegetables, and also dry goods like beans, rice, and pasta, probably won't last very long. Even if the crisis is expected to result in power outages, folks are still going to scoop up things like fresh produce and sandwich meats. They'll also be very quick to pick up other things like coffee, and having a stockpile of store brand instant coffee could end up being a valuable trade item if you can afford to set some aside. And there's a good chance that bottled water is going to disappear even before the food does. I've also seen people scoop up sports drinks like Gatorade and Powerade where I live anytime we think that we may get a little bit of snow. Water containers will also get bought up if people think that their water utilities are going to go out along with coolers to help preserve their food as long as they can, so also expect ice to get hit as well. People also buy other things to help them prepare or serve food. Camp stoves along with the butane and propane you need to run them will be at the top of their list and each of these fuels will run out quickly although for slightly different reasons. Propane can be used for a variety of tasks. The small one pound bottles can be used for cook stoves, heaters, and lanterns among other things and the 20 pound and larger tanks can be used for most of those along with other things like full size grills and generators. Since it's used for so much and so many people have at least one of those devices, it's going to sell out very quickly. 8 ounce butane canisters are going to sell out simply because there aren't as many of them produced. And this will cause them to take longer to get back in stock if and when things get back to normal. If you have something like a propane stove or heater, go ahead and get an adapter hose along with some extra 20 pound tanks ahead of time. This is going to help save money on those one pound tanks since they're not very economical. Lighters are another thing that will be scooped up quickly since people will need a way to light things like grills, stoves, and fireplaces. While preppers tend to buy smaller lighters to keep in kits or vehicles, don't forget to get some longer grill style lighters since they're a little easier to use for a lot of the tasks that you'll be doing around the house. Folks will also buy other things like paper plates and aluminum foil. And aluminum foil in particular probably won't last long since it's used commonly on grills and campfires and people are going to tend to use those cooking methods as their fallbacks when they lose electricity. If you don't already have one, go ahead and pick up a manual can opener or a good multi-tool that has one built in. Baby formula is another thing that's going to disappear quickly as was seen earlier this year and in the spring of 2020 and if you have a young child that's not a situation you want to be in. Other baby related items like diapers and wipes will get bought up quickly as well. And the same is true for similar items you would use to help take care of senior adults. Pet food is another thing that you can expect to sell out early on during a crisis and from what I've heard canned pet food has been especially hard to find in difficult times. Livestock feed will get bought up early on as well along with veterinary medications and pesticides that you would need to keep those animals healthy. If you have a garden or a farm, things like fertilizer, seeds, and pesticides for those will be hard to find also. If you're someone who's into canning, stocking up on extra jars and lids is never a bad idea since those probably won't last long either. The next kind of item that'll disappear during a disaster is anything that can produce or store energy, and generators are probably the most obvious example of this. They're almost always one of the first things to go before a hurricane, and that's because people are going to be desperate to keep CPAPs and other essential devices running, and fuel for these won't last very long either, and this includes both gasoline and propane. While many people would expect for there to be a run on fuel, it's also important to remember that fuel containers will be in high demand as well. Things like gas cans and even empty propane tanks will be very difficult to find when people get scared and propane tanks in particular will take a while to come back. If you have your own propane tanks that aren't part of an exchange, then be sure to top those off so you'll have as much fuel on hand as possible. It's also important to remember other fuel sources as well like firewood, kerosene, and lamp oil. If you rely on firewood, it's always a good idea to get that early in the season if you can't harvest it yourself on your own land. And also lamp oil in particular can be difficult to find even when times are good. I found that the best time to pick that up is in the summer when it's just collecting dust since nobody's even thinking about it. 
during late fall and winter, it's very difficult to find in stores where I live. Then also, if there's a big crisis, then you can expect oil lamps, wicks, and things like that to go out of stock also. If things get really bad, candles are likely to get bought up. The cheap ones will go first, so if you wait too long, you'll be forced to buy ones that are much more expensive if you can even find those. Tea light candles are a very good thing to pick up now since they're pretty cheap and you can store a lot of them in a relatively small space. Batteries are another thing that sell out quickly since people want to make sure that they can power things like flashlights and radios. And those kinds of devices will sell out quickly as well, particularly flashlights and LED lanterns. If you haven't picked up a radio yet, I recommend getting one that can be charged using a hand crank as a backup. And for batteries, I would try to opt for rechargeable variants, especially if you already have a solar generator. And when it comes to batteries, you also don't want to forget other things like ATVs or if you have an electric start generator, those batteries probably won't last long either. Another thing that's going to disappear quickly during a crisis or disaster is anything that has to do with medicine. People will be desperate to get their hands on common over-the-counter medications, especially things like pain relievers and meds that relieve stomach problems. It's also likely that there will be a run on pharmacies as people try to get as many of their prescriptions refilled as possible. Antiseptics will disappear quickly as well since they can help treat wounds as well as clean surfaces and hydrogen peroxide is especially useful for this. Other first aid related items will be in high demand including antibiotic ointments and bandages along with crutches and wheelchairs. Sporting goods are another thing that will disappear especially if it's something that can be used for hunting or defense. Guns, ammo, and the accessories for them tend to sell out very quickly, and fishing equipment is another thing that people will scoop up since they'll want to have as many ways as possible to put food on the table. Aside from those, folks are also going to pick up other kinds of sporting goods, including sleeping bags. These are useful during cold weather power outages and if you need to bug out. Also, tents are another thing that probably won't last long. Even though it's probably a bigger concern with something like a pandemic, cleaning and hygiene items will also disappear in other kinds of disasters or emergencies. The most obvious example of this would be toilet paper. It seems like there were more boxing matches over that stuff than there was over food in the spring of 2020. People will also be quick to pick up other personal cleaning supplies like soap, hand sanitizer, and wet wipes. And some of those may be considered more of a luxury item. People are still going to want to have them, which makes them a valuable barter item. But other things like hand soap, wet wipes, and hand sanitizers can help prevent illness and disease. For example, if you eat with dirty hands, we all know that that can get you sick. And if you go for a long period of time without bathing, then all sorts of nasty and irritating skin conditions can result from that. Other hygiene-related items like toothbrushes and toothpaste, along with feminine products, will go fast as well. Household cleaning supplies like bleach and wet wipes will sell out quickly. And regular disinfecting bleach can be used for cleaning as well as treating water. However, it only has a shelf life of around six months, so be sure to rotate it. Now, you can get pull shock to create bleach solutions, but you have to be very careful how you store it since it's so corrosive. Another thing that will disappear quickly during a crisis or disaster is building materials. Plywood and lumber are some of the first things to get bought up when people hear that a hurricane is coming their way, but other building materials like cinder blocks, barbed wire, and even sand and rocks will get picked up if folks have a reason to believe that their safety may be threatened. And in addition to building materials, hardware and fasteners will be bought up as well since you really need those to use that plywood and lumber effectively. Tarps are another thing that won't last long since they can be used to make repairs, but also work well as makeshift shelters or can help conceal items that people don't want others to see. Tarps come in more than just blue or silver. They also come in brown and camel, which can be useful for that. It's also a good idea to have a stack of clean buckets around the house. The food grade ones can be used to hold some additional drinking water or help collect rain, while non-food grade buckets can be used to hold water for flushing toilets and cleaning, along with other chores around the house. And another thing that you may want to pick up now that they're back in stock are N95 masks. And I know that a lot of us, our attitude towards those have turned kind of sour because of the last few years but they could be very useful to have in something like your car or a bug out bag if you're in an area that has a lot of smoke because of something like a wildfire or there's a lot of dust and smoke in the air because there was some sort of an attack. And of course you can also use them for other things like projects around the house. Like for example, if you're working with masonry, you definitely don't want to breathe that dust in. Clothes are another thing that'll disappear in a crisis, especially if it happens in winter. Folks that don't have cold weather clothing like coats, gloves, and hats will likely try to get their hands on these if stores are still up and running. Another thing that'll sell out before or during a winter disaster is heaters. 
These were nowhere to be found even several days before the 2021 Texas ice storm as people realized that it was probably going to be pretty serious. Cash is another important thing to have because if people start to think their finances are in danger, they will try to pull out as much money as they can. So having some of that on hand ahead of time will allow you to make purchases if computer systems are down, at least during short-term emergencies or during the opening days of a long-term crisis. But it's important to understand that if something like that is going down, then your money probably won't buy as much as it would even today with inflation as, as high as it is. Because once things start to get really bad, stuff is going to get even more expensive than it already is. It's also very likely that people will try to get their hands on precious metals. Anything that has value in the absence of a standardized money system will be highly sought after. And y'all, it's important to understand that if a disaster is bad enough, people are either going to buy or loot pretty much anything that they see. I've even heard a story of after a major hurricane, they went into a Walmart and saw that everything had been looted and even floor tiles had been ripped up off of the floor. When people get scared and they get desperate, they do some really just weird and unexplainable things. And because of that, it's important to get as much set aside as you can before something like that happens so you don't have to go out into all that craziness and put yourself at risk. So if you want to see 50 household items you should be stockpiling, go ahead and click here. And if you want to see stockpile items that are still affordable, at least as of a month or two ago, then you can click here. Thank you all for stopping by. Y'all have a good one.